Welcome to this video in which we will provide you the details of the best batteries for solar or wind power systems. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and enthusiasts for a better more sustainable world so please do subscribe to our channel. Coming up we will list what are the best, the worst and the most cost effective battery options for solar or any other renewable energy storage system. Plus, we will introduce a brand new battery technology that is getting rave reviews and we are not talking about lithium ion batteries. So stay tuned till the end to find out about this technology. So the question is, what are the best batteries for solar? Well, contrary to the popular belief, the flooded lead acid batteries that are used in cars are not the best option. In fact, they are one of the worst options. Unfortunately, in the developing world, Mostly flooded lead acid batteries are used because they are cheap and easily available. These car or truck batteries are designed for providing high burst of current for a short duration of time so to run a starting motor for the engine. And this is inverse to the requirements of solar energy storage system which require the battery to provide relatively less current but for a longer duration of time. The problem is not the lead acid chemistry but the design of the battery. Car cranking battery has smaller electrodes. For solar application, deep cycle batteries are best suited. In construction, deep cycle batteries have longer electrode plates inside them. Lead acid battery is a very established technology and within the lead acid umbrella there are different types of battery, names of which are as follows flooded lead acid battery, the AGM battery and the gel battery. In flooded batteries, the electrolyte is in liquid form and can flow, whereas in AGM and gel batteries, the electrolyte cannot flow and therefore these batteries can be used in any orientation. Both the AGM and the gel batteries are maintenance free, whereas in flooded batteries, the water for the electrolyte has to be topped up from time to time. Again, it is emphasized here that for solar application, avoid using car or even truck batteries because on the outset they might be cheaper, but in the long run they'll turn out to be the more expensive option. One should aim to acquire deep cycle batteries, be it flooded, AGM or gel batteries. In terms of price, the deep cycle flooded lead acid batteries are the cheapest and they cost only about $70 to $80 per kilowatt hour. Whereas the AGM and gel batteries are almost the same price but more expensive than flooded battery. Their price ranges from $260 per kilowatt hour to $330 per kilowatt hour. Gel batteries are very similar to AGM in terms of performance but have a slightly higher lifespan. Next up we have lithium ion batteries. They are long lasting, robust and durable. They are also much lighter and smaller than lead acid batteries of equivalent capacity. The prices for lithium ion batteries are dropping by almost 8% per year. Again within the lithium ion umbrella there are different types of batteries. The two main types that are used in solar energy systems are lithium ferrophosphate and lithium cobalt oxide. The cheapest lithium ion option is the Tesla Powerwall which comes out to be $505 per kilowatt hour. Other lithium batteries such as Simplify batteries range between $900 to $1100 per kilowatt hour capacity. There are many Chinese brands which do provide lithium batteries at considerably low price but they are not renowned brands in the western world. The video link is present below which will provide you with the prices for these cheap Chinese batteries. And lastly we have the latest commercialized technology in the battery world and that is the salt water battery also called the sodium ion battery. This battery is very exciting not only because of its performance but also because of its price. It is one of the safest batteries on the planet Salt water battery can handle heat very well and is completely recyclable. It is very stable battery with no maintenance and it has high amount of charge cycles. Even if this battery is discharged deeply, it doesn't make much of an impact on its health. The price for this battery is around $400 to $500 per kilowatt hour, which makes it cheaper than lithium ion but slightly more expensive than lead acid option. 
It should be understood that saltwater battery has many more charge cycles at higher depth of discharge and therefore it is a more cost effective option than lead acid battery. Note that you can get 3500 charge cycles at 90% DOD. The saltwater battery has a couple of drawbacks. Firstly, it is slightly heavier than lead acid battery and secondly, it can be charged and discharged at slower rates than other batteries. Currently, there is just one company, Aquian Energy, that is commercially producing it. As noticed earlier, the saltwater battery is a cheaper alternative to lithium ion and the prices are expected to drop further with developing competition and economy of scale. So just to recap, the best option in terms of longevity is lithium ion battery if you can afford it. The next best option is the saltwater battery and lastly we have the deep cycle AGM or the deep cycle gel batteries. This concludes the video on batteries for solar energy systems. If you learned from the video, please do like it and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates on renewable energy technology and advanced engineering. Thank you for your kind attention.